Yep, just like, hey guys, how you doing? Doing good. Excited because it's Coconut Friday. Right on. Uh, let's see who gets started. I've got a 12 by 12. I'm going to do a flip cup on. So, you see the 12 by 12 is about 5 ounces. I'm going to go 6.5. Play it safe. Cover my sides. Add a little bit. You know. Always add just a little bit more than canvas is required. Just in case there's some kind of a... Something ugly I don't like, I can pour it off. <laughs> Which happens a lot. Alright, so I did already pre-mix these. And I have put two drops of coconut oil in just the colors, not the black. They're all mixed with two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and just enough water to bring them to a, the right consistency. And, um... They were about five ounces, so usually I will go about one drop for every three to four ounces. But I went ahead and did two since it was about five ounce cups. And I'm using Thalo Green Deep Magenta, which is that transparent, which always hides on me all the time. A phthalo green is an opaque. So that will always be heavier than and more brighter, or show up more. Then I have the green yellow, which is a semi opaque. And the brilliant yellow, which is a semi also. And then black, I have Artist Loft Flow. This stuff. And that's it. That's the way I'm going to do it. So, get started. See what happens here. Um, nothing else I was going to say. Oh, yeah. I was going to mention real quick. I went by Home Depot yesterday. And they had these, buy all the samples, you know, of tile flooring, which would be really nice to have this too, by the way. Anyway, these were free. So... And I acted like I was looking at for flooring and <laughs> grabbed four samples, which is cool because they were free. But what's really cool about them is they had the rubber on the bottom. I thought that was really neat. So I'm going to plan on putting tape over them so that paint don't get on the rubber. And then pour paint on these and make coasters. Yeah, they don't slide. They have the rubber already there. They're called Rigid Core Luxury Vinyl Flooring. So yeah, if you're in Home Depot, grab yourself a couple. You know, don't get carried away because then they, they won't like that. And then, have you ever gotten a grab bag before from Michaels? Oh my gosh, I got everything for like Poor Painter too. I got this. It's big too. It's probably 12 by 10. I'll hang that outside on my gate. I pour paint on it, of course. There's the garbage trucks. I put my name on it, like Romero or something. <laughs> and what else did I get? Oh my gosh, everything was like suited for me. This piece of wood, which is cool, make something out of it. A little flip and drag going down it or something. It's about a 10 by 2. These are weird because I don't know what they were would be for. Maybe somebody could tell me. But flip them over and you can pour on those babies too. <laughs> and then, oh, did I show you this? No, I didn't. This was the coolest thing because I've actually got like a $36 picture in there before. But I got this in, the, in one of them. It's big and long, and it's one of those glass containers, and it's not broken or anything. So I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I was thinking of pour painting on the glass, but nah, I'm not going to do that. I'll just put a little candle in it somewhere, but anyway, got a lot of cool stuff from that grab bag. I was like super cool happy about that. 
Oh, I get started, guys. Sorry, talking so much again. Oh, I wanted to pour this in. Green's going to make it look really bomb. A little bit more black. I didn't put too much uh, yellow. Oh, I'll put just a little bit of drizzle of black on that. Okay, because I want the black to show up in between there, you know? So it's not as pretty as it was, but they're pretty together. And I can't flip this because it's too big. to do all these little stuff I keep getting and I have so many little projects I could do but I'm so busy all the time I don't have the time I want to take care of priorities today and tonight I'm going to really focus on painting I have that one sign one I got at Goodwill so much I have these I have jars and vases. I have this one cool heart one too. This heart, like, I want to do something pretty on there too. I don't know what I put in it, but. <laughs> mm. Oh, and this is cool too. I got these from Goodwill for like 50 cents for Christmas time. When Christmas comes, I got three of them. To do uh, some for my tree ornament. Yeah. I'm gonna buy more of those though. I'm gonna do that this year. Alright, let's hope for the best here. There. That's what I want is that black in there. Cool. Yeah, I finally thought it over long enough. You know what? Like that pour I did the vase on top of the uh, canvas the other day. Loved it, but you learn through your mistakes. And that's it. I learned that. I, wa I said I wanted it dark, and it came out more like light blue. I put too much light blue in the cup, and I didn't put enough, um, oh, those garbage trucks. Well, I'm thankful for them, but still. Uh, I didn't put enough of the ultramarine in the bottom of the cup because I wanted that to come out last. I wanted it darker. But you know, that's what I'm learning is like this time I said, okay, I'm going to need more black because I remember my last time wasn't enough black circling the cells. So I did it, I think. We'll see. Look at all this phthalo green over here, though, next to the black. <laughs> Maybe we'll hit that area first, even though that's pretty. Hmm.
I don't think a whole lot of that's going to go off. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that first because I want that in there. I want that patch of phthalo. Super cool. And look at that magenta showed up for once. <laughs> Be darn. Cool. And the black is circling the yellow too. I like this color area. I want to keep that too. So if I do this first, then I know I can stretch it down a little bit more. I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out too. I'm learning quite a bit. There we go. I wanted to keep that purple and that phthalo. Trying to learn too about the the paint densities, you know. If it's an opaque, it will be more not so transparent. What's going to show up more than others? I'm learning slowly but surely. Well, it's not enough time in the day to do everything. Isn't that pretty? It showed up my colors too. Not so much of the green though. Not a whole lot. A little bit though. We should have a little bit more of that, but it's okay. All right. Time did turn that yellow into a lime green in a way too. I love the halo green though. So pretty. Two of my favorite colors. <laughs> so I get quite a few. So yeah, I forget. I'm not gonna talk. Oh my gosh, my son's still coughing. That's not good. He's feeling better though. This is the bomb. All right, look at that fish. One eyed fish. Look at him, he's funny looking. With his mouth wide open. Oh no, he's got two eyes. <laughs> he looks funny. Look at this funny looking character. He looks like something in one of them movies. Um, I don't know, what does he look like? Arthur. <laughs> Cartoon Arthur. Alright, let's start over here. That's why I like coconut oil, because it comes out with a lot of the cool characters. <laughs> Arthur, he does look like Arthur, I swear he does. Look at this funny looking thing. <laughs> The big nose. But you can turn in every direction and find something. Another little bird. That pretty together, that thalo and the magenta. Deep magenta. That's why I like deep magenta. It doesn't turn up all pink pink. It turns up more purple.
There's Arthur. <laughs> so that's the bomb. That's definitely cool, man. <laughs> See everywhere you turn it, you gotta find something. Look at that weird looking thing. Big deep eyeball in that one. Well, there's just so much in here. I would take up the whole day at videotape and looking at everything. I'm sorry about the trucks. Uh, what am I going to do about it? Yeah, this is super cool. Turned out really awesome. So, yeah. I've never tried the silicone treadmill yet. Just never did. Never. I did buy this dimethicon, which is the same as the coconut oil it has in it. The dimethicon, or dimethicon, I'm not sure. 500, but it's the same thing that's in the coconut. It's still recording now. It stopped for a second, but yeah, it's just different form of dimethicon that's in the coconut, you know, because it's made for your hair. This is dimethicon is actually silicone. It's a polymer silicone, you know, and it's just the same thing as silicone. It's just a different form. So anyway, and I tried the three in one. I wasn't too crazy about that. I remember that a long time ago. I've tried alcohol, but then I stopped using coconut oil completely. So I kind of just do it now because it's fun. Kind of makes it a little exciting. And for the viewers for Coconut Friday. So then there are some areas because I didn't put a base coat that might be a little naked. Or seeing the canvas through it. Just take your paintbrush with different colors and touch them up. Just those, those corners. Because the oil hits the canvas first. Not many. There's just a few. And that's it. If you don't use a base coat, that this will probably happen if you use oil. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Go ahead and press that like and subscribe button. And um, help support the channel if you want to. I'll put a link inside the description for that. And I hope you all have a really good Friday. I'll probably be recording a little bit later because I have so many things I want to do, but I have to take care of priorities first before I play with my painting. But yeah, I'll just sit here and just touch up a few of those little spots. But that will happen if you don't put a base. But it's not necessary. Like I said, you could sit here and you could touch them up. All right, take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye now.